Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting, titillating, orgasmic edition of Radical Rock and Record Reviews. And I'm your host, Wild Ride Bassist, Mick Watkins, otherwise known as Dick Twatkins. And today, guys, I'm going to talk to you about the brand new release from New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal Masters, one of my favorite heavy metal, one of my favorite modern heavy metal bands, talking about the mighty Night Demon and their brand new compilation album, Year of the Demon. Year of the Demon. Check it out. Look at that cool ass looking album cover. It's got kind of got like some Stonehenge kind of esque stuff going on. I love the colors. There's the back of the CD. Now you're probably asking me, you're like, why is Night Demon releasing a compilation album? What is it compiled of? Well, I'll tell you what, back in the year 2020, Kind of right at the start of the fucking COVID-19 pandemic. Remember when we were all locked down and you couldn't do nothing? You couldn't go to work. You couldn't go out to eat. You couldn't do a fat fuck Friday and eat some delicious Mexican food. You couldn't do nothing but except sit in your house and twiddle your thumbs and, you know, maybe play with yourself or whatever the fuck. But yeah, during that time, it was so kind of just, oh my God, can't do nothing. So thankfully, Jarvis Leatherby, on bass and vocals, Armand John Anthony on lead guitar, and Dusty Squires on drums, the gentleman and Night Demon, sort of releasing these killer, kick-ass, seven-inch singles. And when I seen that, I was like, oh my God, new Night Demon, this is amazing. Because it had been, what, three years since Darkness Remains, our last studio album, so man, I was pumped. I was pumped, so I put in my order, and they released five seven-inch singles. And unfortunately, I only got three of them, but I'll show them off right now. So the first one I got, Empire's Fall. Man, honestly, which is probably the best song on this compilation, in my opinion. Check out that cool killer artwork. Empire's Fall, A side being Empire's Fall, the B side being Fast Bikes. Cool stuff, I believe this was released. Yeah, I got the, uh, I got the blue vinyl. Very cool, very cool. So then, you know, over the next couple weeks, well, if I can get this damn thing back in the sleeve. So over the next couple weeks, maybe a month or so, Night Demon released another one called Kill the Pain. Check that out, another seven inch vinyl single. And this contained side A, Kill the Pain, and side B, 100 miles per hour. Love that artwork, it's so killer. And I ordered this, on, of course, red seven inch vinyl. Check that shit out right there. Very, very cool, very cool. And then the third one that I got, and sadly the last one that I got, Are You Out There? Now I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is my favorite track on Year of the Demon. I love this song right here. This is a badass tune, but we will get into that with the review and the discussion. Love that artwork, man, that's so cool. And then, yeah, you got uh, A-Side, Are You Out There? And then the B-Side for this was an excellent Thin Lizzy cover of The Sun Goes Down. Dun, dun, the Sun Goes Down. Love it. Kind of got the purple rose, you know, black rose, you know, kind of in tribute to Thin Lizzy a little bit, you know. But yeah, and I got this, well, of course, on purple vinyl. Check that out. So yeah, so then Night Demon released a seven inch single called Mysteria. And I did order it, but something happened to where everybody that ordered Visteria, their orders got lost in the mail. I was fucking bummed, cause dude, it was on like a really kick ass killer neon green uh, seven inch vinyl and I didn't get it, but Night Demon did refund me my uh, money. And I did get the t-shirt though. I got a badass Visteria t-shirt, but if they did refund me the money and they gave me like a discount on some future Night Demon merchandise orders off their merch site, which I still haven't used. I still haven't used, I've been sitting on it forever. But anyway, awesome. Let's check out Night Demon, Year of the Demon. Very killer release. On the back, it shows all five of the singles. I forgot to bring up that the, the fifth single was a cover of the Scorpions tune, Entrance. Well, it was a Scorpion. Side A was a cover of Entrance, and Side B was a Scorpions cover, Top of the Bill. So it was almost like a Scorpions tribute kind of bill, you know? But anyway, there's the back, there's the spine. For everybody who gives a shit, like geeks like me, 
There's the CD. I put the little hype sticker in the middle. There's a cool live photo of the boys in Night Demon. Check out that cool gatefold. I'm gonna get, I'm getting a vinyl of this too. And I, man, check out that, what that look like is a triple vinyl gatefold. There's Jarvis, Armand, Dusty, rocking it out on stage of flames and shit. I'm telling you, Night Demon is such a great band, dude. Love them. Yeah, there's the booklet, uh, Empire's Fall artwork, like I showed you on the seven inch. Uh, there's Kill the Pain artwork. There's a cool kind of live photos of the guys in Night Demon. There they are jamming with Uli Roth. Uli, yeah. Uli from Scorpions, and there's um, my, there's Night Demon's mascot, Rocky. He's kind of like an Eddie type figure. Yeah, there he is. He's like a Grim Reaper dude that comes out and drinks blood out of a chalice. So fucking heavy metal, so cool. There's the Are You Out There single with the lyrics, the single cover. And yeah, here's the Visteria. I had the t-shirt of this, but sadly I did not get the vinyl, but check that out, I love that. Very cool, very cool stuff, so yeah. There's the booklet. There's the booklet review of Night Demon's Mighty New Compilation, Year of the Demon. Pick this up, guys. It's a very cool, excellent release and a great piece of the Night Demon collection. So let's get down to track number one, shall we say? Yeah. yeah. We got Empire's Fall. Killer, frantic opener. Lyrics about the fall of big, greedy-ass major record labels. Love the lyrics. Very cool lyric, uh, lyric vibe going on here. Love the middle section. Kind of the acoustic, kind of Tony Iommi, kind of Kirk Hammett middle bridge section. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, overall, probably the best production on this record. And in my opinion, one of Night Demon's best songs thus far in their career. Which Night Demon, I think, has been around for... About 10 years now. I remember I bought their debut EP, Night Demon. Or I got that back in 2013 when it was pretty new or brand new. So whatever. Night Demon's been around for a while now, but they're still in the vast history and in the lineage of hard rock and heavy metal. Night Demon's still very much a young band. A very promising young band, shall I say. So track number two, Kill the Pain. Blistering, blistering opening. Love the octave bass climb that Char that Jarvis that Jarvis does in the beginning. Pretty cool. Just total night demon. Total night demon. Equal parts. Equal parts. Early Metallica. Kind of Paul Diano ish uh, era Iron Maiden and Angel Witch. And there's a part in the song where it kind of does this kind of backwards messaging, back masking part. I really love that. Sounds very cool. Sounds evil as fuck. So yeah, Kill the Pain, another excellent original Night Demon track. Track number three, Are You Out There? The song playing in the background on my stereo. My favorite track on the album. It's pretty much, they wrote it in kind of like a homage to like Thin Lizzy. And it totally sounds like a... Kind of a unreleased, undiscovered Thin Lizzy gem. Very cool. My favorite song on the album, Total Thin Lizzy Worship, and done perfectly. It kind of captures the, you know, uh, the vibe of Phil Lynott's kind of storytelling that he would do. And it kind of seemed that he really liked to talk about a character named Johnny. You know, like Johnny the Fox. Johnny the Fox meets Jimmy the Weed and all that crazy shit. So yeah, Johnny makes an appearance, or an appearance. I can't talk to any for some reason. Johnny makes an appearance on Are You Out There? And it's excellent. I did kind of hearing the more kind of classic hard rock sound of Night Demon, you know? I mean, Night Demon's a badass new wave of traditional heavy metal style band, new wave of British heavy metal style band. But I really do dig hearing the kind of the more hard rock leanings of Night Demon. And I hope we get to hear more of that later on in the Night Demon career. I love that album cover, it's so cool. So yeah, my favorite track on the album, Are You Out There? Track number four, Visteria, Night Demon's pandemic song. Straight up Master of Puppets worship. Sounds like it could've kinda came off Metallica Master of Puppets. Style wise, songwriting wise, very much influenced by Metallica. Uh, great chugging guitar riff that would make James Hetfield's right hand jealous. It's true, guys. It's true. Fucking Visteria. Blistering cool track. 
Wish I could have gotten my vinyl, but I got my shirt and I got it on this. So it's all cool. It's all fucking gravy, dude. It's all gravy. And I love some gravy. I love gravy, babe. So then it goes into track number five. Now, this is where the cover tunes begin. They do a live cover of the Scorpions tune, In Trance. And I gotta admit, you know, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of Scorpions. You know what I mean? I've got over here on my CD shelf, I got a couple Scorpions albums. I believe I've got uh, Love Drive, Blackout, and Animal Magnetism. I got those, and really kind of that's about as far, and Love It vs. Sting's pretty cool. Uh, but that's about as far as I've made it in the Scorpions discography. And I know a lot of people on here in the comments section down below, oh, oh, a lot of people have been asking me to do a review on the Scorpions' new album, Rock Believer. And like I said, I'm just not really that. I don't feel like because I'm not a huge Scorpions fan and I really don't know a lot about the career of the Scorpions, I don't think that I like could give it, do it the proper justice, all right? Yeah, I mean, maybe later on down the road, we'll see. But we're talking about Night Demon, damn it, and their excellent Scorpions cover of In Trance. Yeah. Uh, dude, I love Jarvis Leatherby's bass tone on this. Honestly, man, as a bass player, Jarvis Leatherby is fucking amazing, dude. And as a bassist myself, I love his bass tone. It's very dirty. It's very ratty. It's distorted, but it still has that thick bottom end to it. And, you know, you guys know I like thick bottom ends, you know. Very cool cover. Does the song justice, because I did listen um, to the original track. And I got to say, honestly, because I'm a bigger Night Demon fan than I am Scorpions, I like the Night Demon version better. Okay? I like the Night Demon version better. But in trance is very cool. It's got a kind of a cool, somber kind of mood to it. I dig it, man. Killer track. Track number six, Fast Bikes. Now, this is a cover of, a, of the band Le Griff. And they're kind of an obscure new wave of British heavy metal band. I've never heard of Le Griff. I've never heard a single thing by them. But I just got to say that Fast Bikes is a pretty cool tune, you know? I mean, it's a good song. It's a fun cover. That's, that's about all I got. That's all I got to say about it. 100 Miles Per Hour is a Sirith Ungle cover. If you know about Sarah Thungle, pretty killer band. Jarvis Leatherby, the bassist and lead singer of Night Demon, is now, I think he manages Sarah Thungle, and he's the bassist, the live bassist of the band. So that's pretty fucking cool. And it has their lead singer, uh, Tim Baker, guesting on it. And Tim Baker's vocals with Jarvis Leatherby's together, fucking shred, dude. This is a killer track, 100 miles per hour. It's very cool, you know, very breakneck speed. Fuck, I'd say it's 115 miles per hour. Very cool song. Dig it. Another fun cover. You know, nothing with these covers, you know. It's nothing serious, you know. It's not Night Demon really making a, making a stand, trying to make a huge point. They're just, I, I think the guys are just having fun with these covers and giving us Night Demon fans something, something to fucking rock out to until the new album comes out later this year. So, yeah, then you got, man, honestly, one of my favorite tracks on the album Track number eight, The Sun Goes Down. The Thin Lizzy cover. Killer Thin Lizzy cover. This song's always been a favorite of mine, dude, because growing up, uh, my dad was a huge Thin Lizzy fan. It was honestly one of his favorite bands, so I listened to a lot of their music. And I've always dug the album Thunder and Lightning. Thunder and Lightning's always been one of my probably two or three favorite Thin Lizzy albums, and I've always really dug The Sun Goes Down. Night Demon did a great faithful version, but yet they made it their own. They really did good with making that song their own. And if I was going to make like a Night Demon compilation burn CD or a playlist or even a mixtape, The Sun Goes Down would definitely be on it. Excellent track. Excellent, fun, cool album, you know? Very cool stuff. Really love their cover, The Sun Goes Down. Armand John Anthony. His name's kind of hard to say. Armand John Anthony rips fucking ass on the solo on this dude rips it straight open without lube kills it on the lead as does dusty squires on the drums jarvis on vocals and bass excellent excellent band track number nine wasted years live uh cover of uh of course iron maiden's wasted years uh excellent iron maiden cover and go ahead and get your tomatoes and your carrots and your lettuce and shit ready 
because dude, I honestly might prefer the Night Demon live version better over Iron Maiden's track. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how it goes in the in the days and the months and the years go by. We'll see. But right now I am really fucking digging Night Demon's Wasted Years Iron Maiden cover. It's very good. Look at that album cover. Night Demon never fails to have killer artwork. And you know, in heavy metal and hard rock, the artwork and the presentation is almost just as important as the fucking music. And Night Demon always delivers. Track number 10, Top of the Bill Live. Uh, it's another Scorpions cover. And I mean, it's a cool song, dude. Doesn't blow me away. Doesn't knock my dick in the dirt. But it's a cool song, man. You know, once again, it's something for us Night Demon fans, us heavy metal fans to kind of rock out to. You know, it's kind of like, a, you know, let's say if Night Demon's new album that's coming out, I think in November, later on November, let's say if that's the fucking, uh, the, like, the main course in your heavy metal mill. Well, this is kind of like your cheese sticks or your chips and queso, right? This is the appetizer to the brand new Night Demon album. And I gotta say this appetizer is well worth your time, well worth your money. Pick it up on CD, pick it up on vinyl. They even think they got it on cassette. And honestly, I'm probably going to get all of them because, you know, when it comes to uh, music formats, I'm a fucking hoarder. And I love this band and I want to support them. So overall, Year of the Demon, it's a good compilation. I love the original tracks. They're excellent. I love the um, direction that Night Demon's going in. And I can't wait to hear the new album in November. I can't wait. Hey, Jarvis, uh, you should uh, send me an advanced copy. Email it to me so I can review it early. I'm joking. I'm joking now. It's cool. Uh, but yeah, I love this fucking uh, EP. Yeah, well, yeah, it's kind of like an EP. It's like a double EP, basically. It's like a double EP. Yeah, it's good stuff. Overall, good compilation. Love the original tracks. The band is going in a great direction. The cover tunes are a cool, fun bonus. So out of the Dick Twitkins five-star scale, I'm going to go ahead and give this about three and a half stars. Three and a half stars, which equals good. Yeah, guys, check out Night Demon, one of the greatest heavy metal, modern heavy metal bands going. And, you know, sadly, there's going to uh, there's gonna come a day to where our heroes and, you know, Judas Priest and Iron Maiden and the Scorpions and Kiss and all kinds of bands that we love are not going to exist anymore, dude, because they're getting old, you know. We're going to need bands to carry on the torch and to carry on the legacy. And I'll tell you straight up, Night Demon is one of those bands that are going to carry heavy metal further and further in a kick-ass direction here in the 21st century. So you know what? It will be sad when we lose all of our old-school legendary heroes. But dude, with bands like Night Demon, I don't worry about it. Can't wait to check out these guys live. They've been to Louisville, Kentucky twice. One time very early in the career on the Curse of the Damn Tour, I think they came here twice on the Curse of the Damn Tour. And both fucking times I missed it. I couldn't go, dude, because of work. So I have yet to see Night Demon live. And I really hope that they do a U.S. tour. I know they do lots of touring over in Europe and stuff. But guys, come to the U.S. Come to the U.S. And uh, come to Louisville, Kentucky. And maybe hook up with my band Wild Ride and Savage Master. That that would make a killer, uh, a killer fucking bill right there. It'd be the top of the bill. So yeah, guys, check out Iron or Iron Maiden, Night Demon, Year of the Demon, fantastic release. I want to thank the guys for putting it out, and I can't wait for the new album. Guys, if you like this episode, if you like this video, then feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification button down below. Subscribe to all my subscribe to my channel. Check out all the videos from the past to where I talk about killer, kick ass, hard rock, and heavy metal. And check out my band Wild Ride. W-Y-L-D-R-Y-D-E and our brand new 2021 release, Gasoline Alley. Pick you up a copy at www.wildride.bandcamp.com. And while you're at it, pick up our 2018 debut release, City Streets. Until next time, guys, keep rocking, keep doing what you're doing. Crank up the tunes, tip back your beer, and get you some stink finger. Oh, yeah! I'll see you next time, guys.